What's up everybody? Today is March 28th, 2020. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be targeting stripers again, but uh, I'm going to be doing it from land. Uh, going by boat the other night, I noticed that there's a ton of little stripers around. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is targeting them with a different style of bait um, from a fishing pier that I have yet to fish, but uh, I picked tonight of all nights because it's been raining all day. It's really gloomy out. Um, I'm hoping that there's not going to be too many people out on this pier because I do know that it is a, you know, hot spot for stripers this time of year and that uh, there are times where it's shoulder to shoulder fishing. But I figure on the nights when it's like crappy out, there's probably not going to be too many people out fishing. So this is like perfect time to strike. So right now I'm going to show you the rigs I'm going to be set uh setting up for tonight's trip just because i know with the nighttime film it's a little bit darker so uh stay tuned now what's great about tonight's trip is that i'm going to be fishing a pier that anybody can access you know what i mean uh the other video i just shot on my boat i do realize there's a ton of people out there that do a lot of land fishing um just because they don't have a boat um and I'm going to show you an easy way to catch stripers from land that doesn't cost very much. I think my whole setup probably costs about seven bucks uh, for, for rigs and lures. Um, so stay tuned and hopefully we'll put you on some fish. All right, so the other night fishing for stripers got me thinking. There were a ton of, you know, schoolie sized stripers where I was fishing. They were about anywhere from 15 to... 20 inches long uh not not big stripers by any means but uh a lot of fish i was losing uh due to sh like short strikes like they would grab the bait but it they were so small or they were smaller that uh the the hooks i was using and i guess the rig i was using was just a little too big uh just to give you a little bit of perspective how crazy the fishing was that night i mean this is the jig i mean this thing is beat to hell just so you know what they <clears throat> they should be looking like this i mean i i absolutely was getting crushed by them i mean look at the difference but i'm still going to keep using this jig because it still weighs the same weight and i don't think the eye is that big of a difference and personally i, I don't want to waste a jig head you know what i mean i might actually resurface this one find some eyes to replace on it but uh Here's what I'm going to be using today, all right, or tonight, actually. I'm shooting this all outside my house because I know tonight might be hard to see. So I've got all light rods. This is my heaviest rod. It's a uh, seven-foot spinning. It's really built for, like, three-quarter ounce lure. So this is, like, my, if I see anything big, I got a Kalen's uh, half-ounce jig on it. Um, I also have my... VMC Moon Eye Jig, half ounce. Um, I'll be probably primarily fishing Berkeley Gulp Swim Mullet with this one. Um, I, I've been using this. I mean, Gulp makes great products, but I like the uh, Swim Mullet just because the little paddle tail action it has. Um, one of the disadvantages of using this bait, though, is smaller fish will rip the tails off, but, you know, they come in packs of 10, so I don't think I'm going to fly through 10 tonight. And now here's my secret weapon for tonight. Now this is going to be fun. So with all the uh, small fish that have been around, I literally got my trout rod out. This is, you know, just so you can see, a Sienna 1000 with a 16 one sixteenth ounce VMC Moon Eye jig with 20 pound leader. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using four pound test on this rod. All right, now this rod, just so you know, Oh, let me go. It's upside down. So you don't think I'm lying to you. This is an ultra light two to six pound rod. Four, it's four foot six. So, you know, this is what I use when trout season opens, and it's gonna be open in about 10 days, but or 11 days here in Jersey. But all I'm doing is fishing a two foot leader. Now, if you notice, I don't use swivels. I, I tie straight to the line. I do think that helps with the presentation when you're casting and retrieving. If you have a swivel, the swivel might weigh your line down and it might uh, not be the right presentation. But the last but not least, what I'm gonna be using, so I've got 
my moon jig on that rod. These are 1 16th ounce. I mean, they're much smaller than these half ounce ones. Secret bait I'm using tonight is going to be Euro Tackles B Vibes. Um, seen a lot of guys on YouTube using these for bass, perch, crappie. But to me, this is like the perfect size bait for the fish that I'm targeting tonight with the schoolies. It's only two inches and it, the paddle tail has a ton of action. But uh, I'm super excited. I'm hoping that, you know, this rod can withstand a, a bigger fish because there are some big stripers out there. Um, but I'm hoping like the light tackle will give me the best fight, you know, possible. We'll see if this, uh, now, if this $16 rod could hold up to a striper. All right, so I'm going to pack up, get my daughter fed her dinner, and then once she goes down for her uh, bedtime, we're going to head out to the pier. So I'll see you guys out on the pier. All right, so we're at the first spot. I did bring my ultralight rod. Um, I thought it'd be pretty fun to try catching a striper on a ultralight. All right, so that's what we're going to throw on the ultralight. Just make sure the drag set maybe a little tighter. Yeah, there we go. All right, first cast of the night. fish on first fish let's go yeah. let's go on the ultralight yeah, yeah that ain't a bad one Holy cow. all right oh this guy inhaled it the b vibe all right we're gonna let mr striper go all right tide is ripping pretty hard so i'm gonna have to add more weight so i'm going with the half ounce <clears throat> with a Berkeley Gulp swim mullet. There we go. Oh, jig that guy up. Oh man. Right under the chin. Striper with a diaper, man. There we go. Let's go. Whoa. All right. Do this thing. This jig, I've, I've been using the last two striper trips. And just take a look at this thing. It, I mean, it has been absolutely annihilated. I'll show you at the end of the video what it should look like. And definitely not like that. But, man, let's get this guy. Look at that beauty. One day that's going to be a 50-pound striper. Let's get him back in. Whoop. Off he goes. What I'm doing, I'm pitching it out. Letting it sink a little bit, I'd say maybe half half the depth that I'm fishing. And then I'm giving it a little bit of jig. Oop, see something just pulled at it, but it didn't get it quick enough. There are a lot of little, there we go, little stripers, but that's, that's definitely a bigger one. Woo! Man, see, I'm sorry, but I... In a time like this where, you know, I go home and my wife's got the news on and every, you know, news article or news story is about the terrible coronavirus. And, you know, I just want to get out here and fish. Life's normal out here. I know around the world right now life isn't very normal, but to me this is normal March. Like catching stripers all night, you know, and living life to the fullest. But let's let this guy go. Thanks, bud. 
Ooh, getting some. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Back to the light tackle. Tide has slowed down a little bit. And man, it is so much more fun on this light rod. Woo. I mean, that was on <clears throat> VMC with the B vibe. That's a freshwater lure, but for these size stripers, man, that is like primo bait. I am a true believer. Oh, let's uh, we'll see if that cast works. Of fishing the lightest possible tackle uh, that you can for a certain fish. I mean, when I flounder fish, I use, you know, light rods with light tackle. And to me, that's more fun than fishing like a beef stick or, you know, like a real heavy rod, heavy line. You're really not fighting much. Now, this is a true statement, man. Days like this where it was raining all day, it's foggy rain. Oh, whoa, fish on. Oh, let's go. But what I was going to say was, man, this guy's peeling some line. Oh, this, this might be the biggest one I've had all day. Man, that thing is running. Chew. Man, this one is the biggest one I've had all night, and it's on the latest rod. I mean, this is a rod built for trout, not... Uh, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. My drag is not very light right now. It's it set at the right amount so that I can handle the size fish that I'm catching, but... Might have to walk down the pier because this thing's running. Uh, I'd have to follow this guy. Oh man, I'm gonna have to walk this one. Yeah. I go figure I'm using the trout rod. This thing's, you know, designed for rainbows, not for stripers. It probably peeled off about 50 yards of line, maybe 75. My figure if it's big, I ain't gonna be able to land it on land up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice size striper. I don't know if you can see it. He's in the light right now. He's going towards the beach. Try and beach him. Damn. Oh. Now here's the other fun part. It's trying to hop over this fence. I'm not as athletic as I used to be, man. Hopefully, oh, I don't break my leg jumping off of this. Uh. Oh. All right, let's try and beach this guy. Man, I'm glad I brought my boots with me. I wasn't even planning on wearing my boots. Probably should have worn my waders for this. It's not a bad size one. Damn, let me get him closer. Let's go. Let's get him beached. Oop. I mean, to be honest with you, I have four pound test line on this. And, oh man, look at that. That's a nice fish. Let me hop back over here where we got a little bit of light. That is a nice little striper i mean that's not a keeper by any means i'd say it was probably 24 maybe 23 inches 
I mean, this guy hooked right in the corner, perfect. Oh. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. That is a beautiful fish. He's gonna grow to be big. And off he's gone. All right, get that line back out. Maybe there's a bigger one than that one we just got. But I'm not too mad if I don't, oh, fish on. Let's go. Man, that's not bad for four pound test. That guy swallowed it. B vibe. All right, let's let this guy go. There we go. Oh, nice. Another one on the B-Vibe. Jake. There we go. Ooh. Missed that guy. Man, it's a lot of fun. Yes, it is, man. Man, he did not want to give that one away. Look, he's, he won't even get, there we go. Don't want him to eat the soft plastic. There we go. Right in the top of the mouth. That's a beautiful fish. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get this guy. Get that out. Get him back in. This B vibe's holding up. This is still my first one. All right, let's get her out there. Gonna let it sink. Then we're gonna jig it a little bit. Let it sink. Yeah, I know. Oh, fish on. There we go. Hey, man, rain scares people away. I love the rain. Because I just know most people, most people don't want to fish in it. Man, that, that's a cute little striper. Gonna switch to the larger bait, see if we can't get a bigger fish. All right, we're gonna try dropping it straight down and jigging. There we go. Look at that. Right off the right off the bottom. Oof. This guy's got some spunk. Well, I did switch to a bigger bigger jig and it definitely got a bigger fish.
There we go. Whoa, that guy's got some spunk, man, for a little guy. Get her off the bottom jig jig. Oop. There we go. Oop, something just came up on the surface. Yep, as soon as I dropped that one in. Let's go. Oof. There we go. Lively little bugger. going to test the theory out i'm going to put another jig head out there but i'm going to leave it on the surface with it's just like maybe a half foot below the surface not moving it and see if anything will just pick it up just sit it right there there we go it's right about six inches from the surface. We'll see if something comes up and whacks it. There we go. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Man, that's a pretty fish. The dead stick rod. I literally had that one. Whoa, that's a bigger one too. I had that one six inches from the surface and just sitting there and the paddle tail is just working in the current. That's cool. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna keep doing that because if a big one comes, it's gonna take the rod with it. There we go. Oh, this one's got, yeah. Damn, yeah, that is a nicer one. Uh. Oh, thought, I keep thinking my line's gonna snap. I, I got the lightest line on this. Probably should put a little bit of a heavier line. is the last cast right here hopefully something comes
Oh, there we go. Ending the night the right way. This fish is going to make my wife happy. Because I'm going to be heading home. Alright, see you later, man. Alright, well, that's all the time I have tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Um, as usual, if you did like the video, throw me a like uh, or a comment down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I promise I'll bring you the best content I can. All right, everybody have a great night.